Hi, my name is Travis Rakowski, and today we're going to walk through an important capability of Zscaler Digital Experience, and that is the filters that are available throughout Zscaler Digital Experience to make it easier for customers to diagnose and understand the scope of an underlying performance issue. This could be looking at it from a top-down approach, so big picture, what's the blast radius of the problem, how can I find that commonality that's impacting a large amount of my users, or from a bottom-up approach where a single user calls in, maybe they're in a given office or a department, and you want to see are other users in that department or in that location or even that city also impacted from a performance standpoint to these business critical applications. And that's where these filters really provide a lot of value for our customers. So to dive right in, we're going to first start out by looking at the departments. So an example here would be you're working with a member of your sales team, or maybe you're trying to understand the performance of a given sales application for your sales team, and you want to see that based off of the time window that you have selected. So here you could go ahead and enter in uh, your sales department. And now it's going to dynamically update all of the performance to these applications specifically for that department. So now across your entire organization for something like Salesforce, you could see the exact performance of all of your entire sales team to that given app. You can also leverage that from a group standpoint. So if you don't have them carved out into different departments, but you are leveraging groups, you could go ahead and enter in the sales group here and apply that as a filter. So whether you choose department or user group, you can quickly pivot and dynamically update to see their corresponding performance. This is also big for executive teams or maybe call centers or developers where you wanna treat those different groups with a higher level of sensitivity or you wanna be able to quickly triage and understand their experience. Okay, so that's kind of that first set of filters is that department and user group. The second one that we're going to talk through is around the Zscaler locations. Now, these locations are not Zscaler data center locations. These are locations that are automatically pulled into Zscaler digital experience from the greater Zscaler ecosystem. So as you know, um, different branch offices or different corporate offices are brought into Zscaler, those are automatically gonna be populated in this tool. So if you were working with a given end user and say they were in an office and you wanted to identify, hey, is it just the single user in this office that's having a problem? Or is it actually impacting all users in that location? Now you could apply that as a filter. It's gonna update those corresponding scores. And now you can see for those users in that office, hey, is my internal application performance bad? Is it my external application performance that's bad? Is it all applications that are performing bad in that given location? You can also combine this with any of our other filters as well. So say you had a primary and secondary ISP in that office and you wanted to see which one was performing better, you would be able to combine those different filters to say in this office and on Spectrum Internet, what is that corresponding performance for those users? Speaking of ISPs, that is another very popular one for our customers. Anytime we're seeing some type of ISP degradation or outage, you could go ahead and quickly apply that and say, hey, if Spectrum Internet is having an issue, I wanna quickly see across my environment dynamically how many users are even potentially in scope? Is it only impacting my users on the East Coast versus the West Coast? If I wanted to compare that performance based off of location as well, you could do that. So now you could say from a location standpoint in the United States, maybe I wanted to look at Spectrum Internet performance in California versus Texas or anywhere else. You can even go down to the individual city within that state as well. So very, very granular, uh, providing you the ability to see that ISP performance in specific locations as well, or in combination of locations as well as your entire organization. The other uh, filter that I wanted to talk through today is the operating system filter that you see on top. 
This is huge as customers are adopting Windows 11 and they want to quickly correlate and see the corresponding performance of that major operating system upgrade. Is it improving the user experience for both our internal and our external applications? Or maybe it's something like an Android deployment and you want to see for our mobile devices. Maybe these are devices that are on a manufacturing floor that oftentimes struggle with Wi-Fi or cellular connection. Or maybe it's something like a pilot where they're switching between Wi-Fi connectivity and cellular connectivity and they want to understand which ones are performing better. Again, you can, you can combine these filters. So you could also say Android operating system with maybe T-Mobile as an ISP or AT&T because you wanted to see for your mobile workforce, what is the cellular carrier that's providing the best experience? Or are we seeing certain types of outages from these different carriers for these different devices? So again, another way to quickly triage an event but the goal here is that you have the ability to combine them if needed, but more importantly, understand, again, whether you're looking at it from a top-down approach or a bottom-up troubleshooting approach, being able to apply these filters is going to help you better understand very quickly what is the scope of the problem and what is the commonality that's actually causing that degradation in user experience across my entire organization. So those are the different filters that we have within Zscaler Digital Experience. I appreciate your time and being able to walk through those today. Thank you.